when you went back to the hotel last night, what was the one play from uh, added practice that kind of stood out to you? Um, oh, I think probably when I went head on with um, with Moody, you know, my neck's pretty sore, so um, it's something that you know I've always always know to obviously just keep working on technique and making sure I'm getting the right fits on those linebackers and. Um, you know, that was a, it was a pretty tough drill, something that, you know, we don't really get much, um, you know, a, a clear run like that with, with the linebacker. That they're normally going around, um, you know, either the guard or the center or trying to disguise the blitz. So it was, um, you know, a, a Tom Rathman special, that drill, and um, I'm glad I got through it. That was, that was the very first rep, right, that you took? Yeah, yeah, so um, got me the first time, so that was, that was good. How are you feeling this morning? Yeah, I'm all right. You know, I think it's about eighth or ninth day straight training. So I'm um, just looking forward to get this session under our belt and um, having a day off tomorrow. Rathman told me afterwards that he was really impressed by what you did and he didn't know what to expect. A lot of us didn't know what to expect. Were you pleased with how it went? Um, yeah, look, you know, for me, I always know, you know, it's got to keep learning and getting better. You know, I think the biggest thing, and um, I spoke to one of the linebackers after was just, you know, just this technique, you know, what's, um, you know, good fit, what's, you know, from a linebacker's perspective, what do they, you know, don't want to see from a runner back when they're, um, you know, in protection and whatnot. So, you know, I, I know it's, it's like, you know, it doesn't matter what sport you play or what profession you're in, you know, it's all about technique and experience and understanding the concepts of, you know, what's going on. Toward the enterprise, she stepped yesterday. up and, and picked up uh, Tony Giardetti. Um, the big guy, you're giving up a few pounds to him. What did you do on that play? It looked like you, you handled that one pretty well. Yeah, the, I think I was going to get the, the outside guy, but um, Eddie come in and I was pretty much the last man there, so I just, it was a bit of a speed up for him and just try to slow him up and um, obviously just get in the way and, and protect the quarterback. Pressure on you yesterday, Jared. Were you nervous? No, no, I think you know, I'm a bit old for that now. You know, I've been in a lot of big, big things in my life, so. Um, <clears throat> for me, it was just kind of getting out there and just getting the reps, you know. And like I said, you know, I keep saying that it's all about, um, you know, the techniques and figuring out um, the best way to use my body to, you know, protect the quarterback and, um, you know, re obviously read the right blitzes. I think when you looked up and you were paired up with Moody and you're looking at each other, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, knew, I knew we were going to run straight over the top of me. So I um, <clears throat> just obviously try to get in the B gap as quick as I could. And, and embrace myself and, um, and and get low. So, you know, I, I did that and, um, you know, I just, you know, braced for contact. The result was great, but what did you think when you pretty much stopped him? Yeah, well, I wasn't really looking. My head you know, was everywhere, obviously getting hit by Moody. Um, shakes you around a bit and um, just try to, I just try to keep, keep my feet and, and obviously keep as close to him as I could so, um, so he couldn't get away from me. So that's, you know, that's probably the... Um, the finer details of, of pass protection. Don't want to. Don't want the linebacker to obviously get away and, and get to the quarterback. So, um, you know, we knew that you know the drill was coming, and you know, we kind of spoke about it um, the day before, just of what you know what, what Tom was looking for and what he wanted us to, um, to do. Coaches were talking about the, the sound of the pads. You you were going to find that different, and the and the helmets. And um, did you what, what did you think? Was there a reaction to it? Something fresh in your head? Um, oh, look, you know, I obviously knew it was coming. It's obviously a very physical game, and um, yeah, there is, there is yeah, a huge amount of contact. And I think the biggest difference is, is that obviously wearing a helmet and a shoulder pad, you kind of you go a lot harder into tackles, and you go a lot um, with a lot more force, and it does um, you know impact you differently. And um, you know, for me, I've just got to keep working on my game and. And figuring out the best kind of fits that's going to um, put me in the you know the best position to either pass, protect, or even run the ball. What, what is your the coach? difference what with the weight on your shoulders and the helmet? It's about ten kilos extra. Is that is that noticeable for you yesterday wearing that extra weight? No, I actually felt better. You know, we've been wearing shells for the last week, and I actually feel like the shells are probably a bit heavier. They're um, I think they've got something where you know when you sweat it gets a bit a bit heavier. Where the um, the pads are, are a bit more a bit more lighter, uh, obviously stronger. But you know, I actually felt good. <clears throat> I felt good in them. Um, ran you know ran, ran fine in them as well, so it was good. American football. Everybody <clears throat> always talks about pad level, keeping the pad level low. Did you did it kind of ring true yesterday? Could you see why 
it, it's such a big deal and how do you feel as far as you're being comfortable doing that keeping your fat level low yeah there's obviously reasons why you keep it low it's that's harder to tackle and your momentum you know going forward um is a lot harder to penetrate so you know i understand that concept and it was just kind of just getting used to it you know that's part of the transition of um, being able to keep low and and to to run and to step and I guess to, to change the, the point of contact at such a, a quick time that's probably the the biggest transition and you know that's that's part of the challenge part of the journey and um, I've enjoyed it I've embraced it and working on it every time you know I get the chance. Sense from your teammates that every time you were able to manage one of these hits that they, they were, you were gaining respect for how tough you can be. Um, well, I think you know every, every time. You know, you go against a linebacker and, and a running back goes against a linebacker and, you know, you're able to put your body in front. You know, that's, you know, that's what we're looking for. Um, you know, Tom's massive like that. Tom um, obviously had a great career um, he, back in the day and, he, you know, he loves all that contact stuff. You know, he'd, he'd do it every day if it was legal. So <laughs> it's, um, it's been, you know, it was good to, to get out of the way yesterday and, you know, obviously be a bit more today. And, I think, you know, it's just getting used to it and, and getting the body adapted to it. I think that's probably the biggest thing, you know, my neck after the session was, you know, was pretty sore. So it's just getting that contact back again. You know, it feels like kind of your first uh, pre-season game where, um, you know, you're a bit sore after contact and um, hasn't been um, obviously that much contact, uh, you know, for, for a couple of months. How do, you compare couple the, how do you compare the physicality to the rugby league? Is it different in some way? Is it, you find similarities? Oh, you know, obviously it's different. I think the, you know, the biggest thing is that, you know, you wear a helmet and, and, and pads. Um, you know, I, I played um, th you know, third man in, in league as well, where I, I made a couple of tackles, and that was, you know, I, didn't, I didn't really like that. So that kind of reminds me a bit of like that, you know, getting your head in and, and making sure you're running through the right um, right gaps. I think, you know, like I said, as a running back, you just got to really know where you're running and who you're running off and kind of anticipate what the defense is going to do because if you can do that and all the great running backs do that you know Frank was was great at it um, obviously doing a lot of video on, on him and and you know what, what he's been able to do it's just kind of getting that getting those techniques and yet yeah, obviously trying to find the gaps the holes and I guess the the, the fits in the defense Special teams coach was talking about Bradley Pinion and how he's able to do the Australian style punt that's how he described it and that got me thinking are those punts easy for you to to handle because you're used to that that style? I mean, has that been sort of the easiest transition for you from one sport to the other? Um, I think probably I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's definitely something that um, you know I could adapt to fairly quick. It's it's still it's still tough to catch those balls. I think um, the the NFL ball rotates a lot faster than a rugby ball and. And so it, it moves a lot quicker, but then um, when it moves a lot quicker, it can, you can define where it's going to land. So those rugby style kicks is when um, the ball sort of kind of rotates and when it comes down, it's flat, it's on its belly. And if you, you know, when, when Bradley's got, I think he's got it, you know, once or twice, when you get that, it's pretty much game over for the returner. You know, you've got, you got no luck of catching it because it can deviate, you know, from five yards to 10 yards in a you know, click of a finger. So it's, it's tough. And, um, you know, Brad's a great kicker. You know, for me, I think he's, he's on point. You know, some of his place kicks where he wants it in the five yard and or ten yard, and his long ones, and, and really making us work at the back. You know, it's great, great for us to get those you know, get those reps in and um, you know really uh, get that under our belts. All right. Do you have any plans? Last one, guys. Do you have plans for your off day? Uh, probably just sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, you know we're uh, starting. You know, starting at eight, and, and you know, I'm not getting out of the facility till about nine, nine thirty every night. So, um, yeah, I'm probably just going to sleep, bit of FIFA, and um, yeah, that's it. I think. All right. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you.